thank you for joining me today. Today I'm out here collecting cleavers, or better known as sticky weed, and I'll be extracting the juice later on, so stick around. Cleavers has many names, such as goosegrass and sticky weed. Personally, I love this little weed because, um, well, I've used it for burns myself. And um, before I get into any of that though, I'll tell you a bit more about this edible plant. Cleavers are quite abundant in hedges, woods and cultivated ground, and can grow up to 50 to 180 centimetres in height. Leaves are in whorls and have small white flowers in late spring and turn into small ball-like fruits during the summer months. A distinctive feature of these, of course, is that they cling to your clothes. It tends to creep and grow between other plants and brambles, so it is wise to be careful when harvesting to ensure you don't pick any poisonous species or injure yourself. You could even find yourself disturbing an ant's nest. As I mentioned before, it's not only good for burns, but it's also good for other skin complaints. So if you get any uh, rashes, any nettle stings, or even sunburn, um, you can use this as a uh, crude first aid item. And if you've forgotten the sunscreen, you know exactly where to turn. Simply rip the plant into as many pieces as possible. Roll the pieces between your palms with a bit of pressure. Squeeze the juice onto the affected area. Alternatively, you could wrap the pulp in a bandage or some sort of cord, or just hold it into place. If you like what you see here, hit that like button. Because of the coarse hooks on this plant, it's not really fit to eat, but you can get around this by plunging them in boiling water for a few seconds to melt away the coarse hooks. I'm going to make a cleaver succus because the juice has many uses and I wish to preserve it. It is good for swollen glands, fluid retention, tonsillitis, breast cysts, bladder irritation, and burning urine. I tend to use a muslin bag like this one because the juice stains tenaciously. Simply chop the cleavers, put in a muslin bag, twist and squeeze, Add an equal amount of runny honey, bottle it and enjoy its benefits. Thanks for joining me today and uh, I'll be out with another video as soon as I can.